Meanwhile, the chip war is intensifying. It's the U.S. versus China. Today, China fired a salvo. It, its first major strike, really. China has banned an American company, a memory chip giant called Micron Technology. On what grounds? China says it poses a national security risk. So it has banned the chips from key infrastructure projects. And what is America's response? It says China's actions and accusations have no basis in fact, but observers see it for what it is. It's a tit-for-tat move from Beijing. Remember, Washington has been trying to curtail China's computer chip industry for a while now. The campaign is being led by U.S. President Joe Biden. He's been urging allies to counter China's chip dominance. And now China has fired back. What does it mean for the company, for the chip industry, and for the world? Our next report explains. The U.S.-China chip war. It's one of the battlefields where the world's two biggest economies are trading blows. The fight is over advanced computer chips and the ability to make and use them. Over the past year, Washington has been on the attack. It blocked China's access to chip-making equipment and urged allies like Japan and South Korea to restrict chip sales. Overall, the U.S. has been tightening the screws. But yesterday, China struck back. It announced a ban on U.S. giant Micron Technology. Micron's products cannot be used for key infrastructure in China. And what constitutes key infrastructure? Whatever Beijing wants. China has loose definitions which help it exploit situations like this. But observers say that Micron chips will be banned in sectors ranging from telecoms to transport and finance. How is China justifying this ban? By saying that Micron failed its network security review and that Micron's products are a threat to China's national security. I want to stress that the relevant review is to prevent cybersecurity issues of the product from endangering the security of key national information infrastructure. It is a necessary measure to protect national security. The review was conducted by the Cyberspace Administration of China, or CAC. It says it has come to the conclusion that Micron products should be banned. On what grounds? Which products? The CAC hasn't given any details yet. Most observers think this move is more about politics than security. It was a shot fired at the US. Look at the timing. The announcement was made yesterday while the G7 summit was taking place in nearby Japan. It came when US President Joe Biden said the G7 nations had agreed to look at their relationships with China. The G7 nations want to counter what they call China's economic coercion. They want to de-risk and diversify their ties with Beijing. So it seems that China hit back with the Micron ban. Micron says it looks forward to continuing to engage in discussions with Chinese authorities. What choice does it have? Remember, China is a lucrative market. Last year, about 10% of Micron's $30 billion revenue came from mainland China. It's about 16% if you include Hong Kong. But there may be a silver lining. Micron produces chips that go into smartphones and computers. It has chips for infrastructure too, but that's a smaller part of Micron's business. Most of Micron's customers in China were also foreign firms, companies that manufactured their products in China. Technically, they haven't been barred from buying Micron products. So it isn't clear how much Micron will suffer due to China's ban. But despite the possibly weak impact, Beijing's move is still seen as an escalation, a return of fire in the chip war. The question is, how will the U.S. respond to the latest salvo? We'll keep you updated.